Blade Smiths, now it's time to send you back to your home forges to recreate this iconic weapon. Jay Nielsen's War Scythe. Next up, I'll be pre-testing <laughs> Jay Nielsen's War Scythe. This War Scythe was personally created by our very own Beast from the East. This War Scythe is a menacing variation on a centuries-old peasant's weapon from Middle Age Europe. Ready for battle at a moment's notice, farmers would take their sides from work to war during uprisings, riots, or calls to battle. This weapon uses a long shaft to generate massive power to cut down enemies, while its lethal sharp point could be thrust into infantry and cavalry. This multifaceted scythe features a fork opposite the blade as a brutal piercing element, and a small blade at the bottom of the pole to finish off an opponent. Scythes are represented in pop culture as sinister and ominous weapons symbolizing death, and is most notoriously wielded by the Grim Reaper. It was a very interesting weapon, because you got a scythe and you got a blade, a curved blade here, and the edges on the outside. Have I ever tested anything like that? No. And when I did, pure heaven. The kill test master, Doug Markaida. <laughs> yeah, he just looks like a murderer. So this is a weapon, if you're not careful or unfamiliar with it, you can actually hurt yourself. When you got blades everywhere facing the wrong way, you got the front, the back here, and the hook blade and everything else, you really have to be used to handling weapons and knowing where everything dangerous, everything sharp is at. Every time you swing, you make sure that you don't swing it back to cut yourself. To test Jay Nielsen's Barth Scythe, because we didn't have another weapon just like it, we had to make a mock-up of it that was similar to the dimensions that Jay presented. It was very interesting. It was very revealing on how to fight with something like this without cutting yourself. As you're coming forward, there's a blade right there, so I gotta be careful of that. As I'm going this, there's another blade over here. Just wielding that thing, it really gave me a chance to actually learn to adjust and create a movement that keeps me safe, but at the same time, do maximum damage of what's in front of me. All right, Alex, the balance is light, allowing it to be a very fast weapon that you can use middle hand, long handed, or for close quarters. Your weapon will kill. All right, Trevor, trick or treat. Treat? <laughs> Indeed. All right, Trevor, the tip alone penetrates deeply into the gut, and the edges here are sharp enough to, well, make it lose its head. Overall, sir, it will kill. Thank you, sir. All right, Smiths, welcome to the strength test, the dreaded coffin challenge. I'm gonna take the bones and beat them repeatedly into the blade of your scythe. And Alex, you're locked in and ready to go first. You ready? Yep. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Alex, you survived. Good job. The only issue I have, you have some slight rolling on the edge, and the head of this moves, so it's not secure anymore. But your edge held up great. Good job. Thank you. Hey, Phil and Trevor, 
Uh, pretty good right now. Good? We'll see how you feel in a minute. Nice job, Trevor. Held up well. Your edge is still good. Nice and sharp. Everything's still tight. Good job. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths. This is the sharpest test, the zombie. Surprise! To test the edge of your weapon, I'm going to take your scythe and cut through this rope, thereby releasing a surprise. All right. Alex, you're up first. You ready? Certainly. All right, Alex, it cut easily on the rope. When you're puncturing this, it cuts through and slices. It will cut. Thank you. All right, Trevor, your turn. So you ready? Hell yeah. All right, Trevor, the edge that you have here lends itself to cut the rope much easier. When you're puncturing, it starts to cut all the way through. Overall, sir, it will cut. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, you guys have done fantastic work, but only one of you can be the Force of Fire champion, and that champion is... Trevor, congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire champion. Alex, unfortunately, your blade took some damage in our strength test. You did great work, my friend. But at this time, I have to ask you to please exit the forge. Ultimately, it came down to the construction. I think I definitely made a blade that can intimidate anyone. Well, Trevor, the judges all agree you made a damn near perfect war scythe, which has earned you the title of Forge and Fire Champion and a check for $10,000. Good job, brother. Come on forward and shake our hands. I won! Woo! I think the biggest thing I learned was to keep on trying. If something doesn't go your way, don't get upset about it. Just keep moving forward. This was a perfect Halloween experience. I feel like I just went trick-or-treating and I got a pillowcase full of candy. 